Right, these are Soundbeats Q9A. These are Bluetooth uh, headphones, wireless, of course. Let's get started with it. And this is how it comes in. And you might see it in the brown box. And the first time I purchased them, I got it in the brown box. And uh, next time they came in, in the black box. I prefer the black box much better. Um, looking outside, the specifications are um, this is an APTX uh, audio profile. Um, the weight is about 0.6 ounces, the battery type is uh, lithium, and uh, effective distance it says 10 meters, and of course a whole lot of other stuff that I don't really care about. Um, the things that you see on the side, right here, or you have a couple of buttons that I think it's better described once we see it inside. Once you open the box, you're greeted with Soundbeats hot box here, with uh, user manual and a uh, USB 3.0 charging cable that comes across with it. Alright, uh, it's a nice hard box. Uh, when you open the box you have the headphones, something that we'll get into. Then it comes with uh, two pairs of earbuds that you could just choose from. And before I purchased them everywhere I read it was, uh, it was recommended that I choose onto the other one but these ones have been just fine so far without any changes. It comes with a phone clip that you can just uh, hang the ear and it comes with a loop here which uh, you know comes pretty handy in case you want to shorten the, the wire. Alright, <clears throat> after the phone, after the headphones, these are one of the longest cables that you would see on uh, wireless Bluetooth in-ear headphones. Uh, these are fairly large headphones as you would compare with the others and of course the battery and technology has to go somewhere and it goes in here and the stuff that stays outside your ears would be the ones that are from you know this point onwards uh, only this part goes inside your ear so there's quite a bit of thing you would see uh, hanging outside of your ear um, from the buttons perspective you have a middle button which of course is a on and off button then you have a button for volume up and volume down. You could use this for charging, uh, changing the uh, song from one to the other. The middle button, when long pressed, can also be used. Does is also be used for uh, is also used for pairing. Uh, there is of course a LED light here. That's the microphone, and this is your USB charging port. These apparently come with a four four and a half hour uh, long battery life. I've uh, used them for about a couple of days. Um, these are apparently sweat proof. Uh, I've used them in the gym. I've used them while walking. The sound clarity is good. The bass and the uh, the high and medium notes are also decent. The only problem that I face with them is in terms of the connectivity. So if you're wearing them on your ear and you're walking or like me, I'm in the gym, the connection you know keeps coming and going. And by that, what I mean really is that I think it it loses the position of the phone. On the Bluetooth and it starts looking for it again and it gets connected and of course uh, it does not mean or it does not have any you know uh, disconnected connected warnings that come through which you know come through when you are uh, you know connecting them for the first time but it is fairly uh, disturbing and inconvenient to have to lose the connection in the middle so in my view if you're going to be sitting somewhere and listening to these and I've just resorted to using them in the bed at night when I have to listen to something really quickly, it's, you know, put them on, they're good to go and they're fairly handy to be kept anywhere. Uh, that is great. Uh, I haven't really tested their, their uh, sweat proofness or the stuff that, you know, they can stay wet for a while as well. I am guessing that they do. Um, but if Soundbeats can solve the problem or get a handle on the problem in terms of when the disturbance comes through when, you know, you're walking with it, I think these are great pieces of headphones. I uh, hope this is helpful, and in case you want to purchase, of course, you've got Amazon or Soundbeats directly. Uh, these should be, uh, I've forgotten, I think they're about uh, £13 or so. Um, Alright, that's about it.